Beast Mode Mac. Cotastic. Game two of group play for these fellas. It's going to be Cotastic as the Kansas City Chiefs starting off with the ball first. Is that the noise when he shoots the fireballs? Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. yeah we're yeah. on point. All right. Let's rock. Second and six. Good defensive play. That shows the speed of this Atlanta Falcons team. Kotastic, I mean, he showed up in good game of retire. He's got the backward snapback, the Mario shirt. That's an intimidating guy to play against. He's ready to rock. If I if I looked at those two pictures, I'd guess Kotastic was named Beast Mode Man. Look at him in a little split close, too. Oh. What? I what? thought it was picked. Oh, I thought it was picked. Gee. I thought we were done going the other way. Oh, gee. But I'll, I'll tell you what. It, 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 He's making reads like that, it, it might not, you can't make reads like that against Beast Mode Mac. He is so very fortunate that that wasn't an interception right there. I gotta find out from Rico. Rico was, was asking how, his big question was how Beast Mode Mac got his name. Which one of those two do you think would be Beast Mode? It'd be Kotasic, right? He looks way more Beast Mode. Oh, Rico Williams is on the case. He's gonna go find out how many, how many day pass Beast Mode has. I feel like Beast Mode has the three day I, I, I think he's got the three. I think he's got the confidence. If you're in the chat, are you getting, if, if you come to this tournament, are you buying the pass one day at a time or are you just copping the three day pass because of your confidence? Dude, I'm buying the three day pass not because I'm confident I'm going to win because I'm not. But did you see how much stuff they have here at DreamHack? Yeah, it is pretty cool. I got to hang out, man. They got Rocket League going on. They got CSGO. They give away $300,000 in, in Counter Strike. Yeah. Plus, the winner of that, that Masters gets a, a custom ring, which I think, I think is an awesome prize. Some Halo 5 going on as well. Oh, yeah. Mm. Spinning and winning. We'll pick up a couple yards. My Talk guy, about... Lucky24, sorry to cut you off, Nick. He says he's going with the one day. Lucky, you don't want, you don't want to hang out? Uh, I, I understand it. If you're trying to save the clock. Oh, Rico's showing off that 40 speed. He's coming in hot. Oh, oh. So breaking news when it feels like we got, breaking. We got breaking news. I wonder if his mic's live. Nope. Breaking news when it feels like breaking. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Did you say Friday day? One day. Beast wow. mode, one day pass. Where'd you find? Who did? Credit to Rico. I mean, he, he did the work. He's on the move. They've been calling he him the He showed off on that 40 speed, and I understand why you beat him. Because he's slow. It's not pretty. I, I, I did kind of dirt back on, on that 40 yard dash, but you know, this is, sometimes things got to be done. E to be eaten. I dominated that skills competition, by the way. Wasn't, was, it, was it just pure domination? It was pure domination. You can go back and watch the tape. I believe it's Madden 17, Madden Ball. They had us run through all the little Pro Ball festivity competitions. Domination. I didn't even want to do it. They forced me to do it. They forced me to win. And then, I, you know, I just had to put on one time. Second and 10. Beast Mode Mac, Atlanta Falcons, deep pass over the top, has a man, that's Tevin Coleman once again. 54 yards and a big first down for the man known as Beast Mode Mac. This is a big top for Fantastic. I mean, these guys trying to make their names for themselves. I mean, it's easier said than done when you're going up against these guys like Beast Mode Max and the Mats for Gamers. I mean, these are dudes, this is what they do, man. And this is what they've done for the last several years. As you see Beast Mode Mac get in for a touchdown, Calvin, business as usual. That's Calvin Ridley into the end zone. That Beast Mode Mac starting off on the right foot. Looks like the defense from Kotastic caused, caused some issues early. Beast Mode Mac finding the end zone. Seven, nothing. On top, looking to go two and own groups. See what my guy Kotastic can do. This is, this is what you need to put on. You, you're rocking the Mario shirt, so you, you got to have some game and ability. You don't just rock the Mario shirt if you're sweet on the sticks. I'm just saying, if we see Patty Mahomes throw a fireball, I'm going to call that that's illegal. Uh, oh, I think that's oh. an illegal tactic. <laughs> First and ten, Patty Mahomes driving back to pass. That's easy. <laughs> The hit sticks are back. The hit sticks are ridiculous. The, the lumber. 
And this is a big drive for Kotastic if he wants to have a chance in this game. Just being able to respond to a touchdown. As, as I think Rico Williams is coming in hot with some more breaking news. This is going to be a thing. What? Yeah, yeah, right. Are you serious? Breaking news when it feels like breaking. The Madden legend, the old school grizzled veteran, the inspiration, the miracle man. Pick. There's a pick by Beef Mama. Vinny Valvano, a.k.a. Phenomenon, has made it out of this group. And for those that don't know, Nick, that's a big deal. Vinny has been around since about Madden 05 or 06. He doesn't even have... He legitimately, he has a disease, he doesn't have fingers. He's able to play the game on the highest level he always has been, and he's just at such a clear disadvantage. It's such a motivational story. This is his first tournament in about three or four years. It's a big reason why I wanted to come out here, Nick. When I heard Benny was coming, he's been such an inspiration to me my whole life. I was like, I need to get out here. I need to see what's going on. And to find out that he made it out of his group, I mean, that, that's just music to my ears. I try not to be biased, but Vinny's one of those guys you cannot help but root for him. A true inspiration to not just Madden gamers, but to gamers oh, everywhere. Oh, he's got him over the top. That's Devontae Freeman, 10-5, into the end zone. Beast mode, Mac opens up a two-score lead. A reminder, guys, keep up on the brackets, the standings, the results. You can find it at dh.je slash Madden Dallas. Big congrats to Vinny. Getting out of the group. He legit, his gamer tag for the longest was fingerprintless. It's the greatest gamer tag That's ever. Awesome. It, That's tough. Uh, if, if you go on YouTube and you look up Vinny Valvano Madden, you'll see an old school Madden 08 video of him and his brother. They did a small little documentary piece on him. It's super inspiring. I highly recommend you go check that out if you haven't seen it or if you want to get uh, up to date on Vinny's story. But that is just so amazing. It's what events like DreamHack are all about. And I cannot wait to see him play in single elimination in the next few days. How about this? If Vinny doesn't get on the main stage for one game, I'm not showing up. You heard it here first. As once again, we see Beastman Mac on that aggressive pass rush with the Vic Beasley, Tack McKinley, Grady Jarrett. Trying to get some pressure, and it worked there. Second and 20, play action pass. Kotastic, right side. Oh, he gets the feet in bounds. What a catch to the 43-yard line. Oh, man, this is so awesome news by Rico. Peace mode's in, in complete control here. And you know what? This is what's going to happen in group play when you got so many people at these tournaments. You're going to get some guys that just aren't on the level. Well, picked off. Uh, oh, oh, that's Foya State Olakun. He's so fast, and he covers underneath so well. And now beast mode. He's just stunting on him. This is what happens, though, Nick. I mean, you go out. You, you got to throw your hat in the ring. You got to start somewhere. These guys just don't have the experience of a beast mode Mac. It's no knock on Kotastic. You just haven't put in the work that this young man has put on. But you know what, as this tournament continues to go and we get down to the single elimination game, uh, there's enough good players here where we're really gonna get some phenomenal matchups. Oh, oh, man. oh, Julio Jones is the man. Into the end zone and Beast Mode Mac breaking this game open. We're not even through the first quarter. It's 21 to nothing. The defense playing strong, the offense playing strong, Beast Mode playing strong. 21 nothing in the first quarter. I mean, it's tough, Nick. And I don't believe they have, have any type of mercy. Well, I, I feel like they play it to be, till the end. I feel like there needs to be some sort of, you know, max point differential. Um, when I used to play, the way it went is if you went down 21 nothing, right? In this situation right here, back when I, I was a competitive player, Kotastic would have had to put points up on this possession right here, or they would have called the game. If you went down 21 and weren't able to put up points on your next possession, it was game over. That is not the rule we're playing with here. But that's how it was in the old school. But Kotastic looking calm, cool, and collected. There's a lot of game left. We go now. He's got a pretty juiced squad in the Kansas City Chiefs. Final play of the first quarter. 
That's tough. It's a tough defense to do anything against. Vic Beasley with the sack, 21-0. Beast Mode Mac on top. Madden's players in the chat, he, he, he knows what I'm talking about. He said, yep, that, that was called the 21 skunk rule. You skunking people in the MBL or you got no, no, I No, firmly somewhere in the middle. We just we just started our final season of Madden 19. Season 39 overall. You know what though? Speaking of Madden 19, I mean to have a Madden 19 tournament for $25,000 and to be a part of DreamHack this late in the year. Uh, it just shows where this sport is growing and where it could go. Can you imagine the type of opportunities that are going to open up similar to this when the new Madden drops and we have a whole fresh new season and a fresh new game and people just really, you know, into the mix, into the community um, when the buzz is as big as possible. I mean, if you're not excited about this upcoming Madden 20 season, uh, you're ridiculous because this is ridiculous. The fact that we are still going this strong at Madden 19 just shows you how bright the future really is. And seriously, guys, next week, if you want something fun to do, EA Play out in Los Angeles, Hollywood Palladium, two-day festival. I've heard, I've heard there, there's going to be some big names out there. No, EA a, Play is official a, mole. It's a great time. The Whack-A-Mole Challenge. They got the Whack-A-Mole Challenge. My, and my guy, Moley, man. He's tough. He is tough, tough on the sticks right now. He has been running amok in that Tiburon studio. I mean, his run game is tough. His defense is tough. And he can even pass when he needs to. Mole, I'm going to be interested to see how many people are able to whack the Moley. Yeah, I think a lot of people are thinking, yeah, we'll, we'll take him down. It's, that's going to be easy. Nah, he's, he's, I, I, he's tough on the sticks. Unless he starts just playing, if, if he starts, you know, taking his foot off the gas, but if he's playing full throttle locked in, I, I don't see Moley losing, you know, more than three or four games. And you got to think, that's six-hour days. I mean, that's a lot of games he's going to be playing. Don't forget, also out there at EA Play in Hollywood, the Juju fan experience. Plus, you can try out Madden 20. It's going to be a lot of fun out there. We got some Madden 19 here at DreamHack Dallas. The first ever Madden tournament hosted by DreamHack. What a setup we have out here. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams. We'll be with you all three days till we crown a champion on Sunday. Say the 16 over the top. How about that catch? That's why he's got two ones on his chest, because he may be the number one receiver. Julio Jones, 27 to nothing. And, you know, I've seen a lot Cotastic as he just gets agged on, you know, by Julio Jones right there. If you really want to stop that ag catch, you have to click on and hold the SWAT button. If you're not clicking on and holding the SWAT, um, you know, there's other ways to stop it, but that's going to really give you your best chance. Um, right there, you see it. He didn't click on, didn't attempt to swat, and Julio just, you know, jumps over him, ags him, get, gets the touchdown. Yeah, so. I think that's the biggest mistake. In past Madden games, you might have been able to, to fight through some interceptions that way. In this game, it really puts a premium on doing the smart thing and swatting the ball away. Yeah, you have to. And I get frustrated with some of these even high-level players. They'll say, oh, I'm getting agged on all over. And I say, do you click on and swat? And, oh, who goes for swat? I always go for the interception. So, hey, until you, you're giving it, you're doing the exact thing you can do to give you the best chance to stop something, I don't really want to hear about it. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Hot, 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 hot. You're Kotastic. He's locked in. He's trying to find something, but Beast Mode Mac. Well, they're out of line in the chat. They said this dude, Kotastic, definitely lives in Dallas. It's out of line. They're in seven. Patty. That's a bad throw. Picked off. Going the other way. Olakun one more time. This is what happens. Though. When, when, when you haven't been to a tournament before, and you get matched up against a real deal player, it's a humbling experience, Nick. And I Sit down. Be humble. I've talked about it. We've all been there. It's just, what are you going to do from this experience? Are you going to see where you were outclassed and work on it? I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's everywhere right now. Devontae Freeman. But, but the main thing that I, I've noticed from Kotasnik in this game is he's going to have to learn that when you're going up against these high-level competitors, they are lurking that middle of the field. And those Can't routes that, that yeah, those routes that you're used to throwing against the AI or lesser-skilled players, they're just not going to be there. 
Yeah, you see that linebacker lurking underneath. It, they're so good at getting that interception. It's, it is 35 to nothing, an absolute shellacking. We're only in the second quarter of Beast Mode Mac. Uh, Rico was asking how, how Beast Mode Mac got the name Beast Mode. He's showing right now because he, he's gone into full Beast Mode against Kotastic. Beast Mode was cool because I remember a player that's actually here, uh, Antoine Pretty Boy Williams, who was a Madden legend. Uh, when I was growing up, he was one of the best. Uh, he lost to Big Gene in the Madden 05 finals. But for a long time, for a few years around the Madden 12, Madden 13 era, he would tell me, RG, you got to keep your eyes on this Beast Mode Mac kid I've been playing. He's insane. He's a problem on the sticks. He's going to be the next big thing. And then here we were three or four years later, and he, he was hosting up a belt. So it was cool to hear Tuan call that out so many years ago and to see it, you know, come into flourishing like we've seen with Beast Mode. Truly has become one of the best Madden players in the world. And, you know, we talked about how cool it is to see Madden here. I mean, we're in May. It's been three months since any meaningful football game has been played. Would you have even thought back at 05 we'd be sitting here with $25,000 prize pool on the line in May? Uh, absolutely not. The, back when, the fact that even in the MCS that there's guys that are, you know, making top eights, top 16s, you know, you make your club final four and you're able to make, you know, a couple grand just for that. I mean, when we were playing, Nick, you got to understand, it was win or go home. There was a $100,000 prize pool and that went to first place and first place only. And we were happy with that. So to see where we've come now, where we're giving over away, Madden's giving away over a million dollars. You have underground tournaments like this at big gaming conventions that are giving away $25,000. You have all the NFL teams involved with the club championship. I mean, the potential is just unlimited. Yeah, I, I love hearing, like, this is an underground tournament. This is far from the underground tournaments of the past. Look how many people are here. Look at the, the facilities. I mean, this is awesome. Seriously, and I think one, uh, one of the things with our community, I love our community so much. Um, obviously, I've been a, a big part of it for a long time. But one of the things I think we do that's not good is we sell ourselves short time and time again. Uh, you know, they look at some of the bigger esports that have been around for a long time, and just because we're not at that level yet, people tend to get discouraged, but you shouldn't get discouraged. We're well on our way. Uh, you can catch us on ESPN at times, NFL Network. We had the highest, you know, watch network television, you know, esports e yeah. broadcast, you know, million dollars from where we were. It's just getting bigger and better, and it's going to continue to. Don't don't keep selling ourselves short, Madden community. We, we got a lot to look forward to, man. All right, let me know in the chat. Here, here's my question. We're second Nick's quarter. asking a question in the chat. Be here's, ready, boys. Here's the question. I'm going to take the over-under right now of number of points Beast Mode scores. In this game? Uh, in this game. I'm going to put it at 60. I'll do 60 and a half to make under, it easy. Under, because if he has a merciful bone in his body, he'll be in chew clock in the second half. If he doesn't go to chew clock in the second half, I mean, Beast Mode. You got to spare us. At one point, too, you got to wonder that does Gotastic, you know, decide to top out. I know there's no skunk rule, but you got to assume a player has the ability to tap out if you want. I, to. I was told it was play till the end. I don't know if they can tap out. Maybe, maybe no, somebody can if tell I'm me. at a tournament and I want to, you know, tap, tap, I'm, I'm tapping. Uh, Beast Mode's going to get the ball to start the second half, already up 38 to nothing. What are you going to do? Just qualify me? I'm down, seven, I'm down 70 nothing already. Really. <laughs> I got no points. I'm already losing. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us in the Twitch chat. Appreciate everybody here at DreamHack. Hope you're having a good time here in the Dallas area. Nick Mazesco, RG Rico Williams. G Sasso for me. He, he's thinking 84 points. Icon 615. He, he's predicting 52 points. Papa Dot says Max not going to chew the clock. Don't say that. I'm looking at his offense. Two clock is not on. Papa Dot did say, he said, if I'm this dude, I would have tapped a long time ago. Now he's snapping with 15 seconds left. He's, oh, he's got Devontae Freeman spinning and winning. You know, you know, you know what I say, RG. The wheels on the bus, they go ground and pound. And right now, it is ground and pound attack for Beast Mode Mac. He doesn't got the true clock on Mac. Uh, he's, he's. Ruthless. Show some mercy. Oh. Uh oh. 
That's all I can say at this point. Oh, oh. Nine carries, 86 yards. Over nine yards per carry for Freeman. We still got a lot of time left in this game. A clinic put on by Beast Mode Mac. Yeah, he needs to chew the clock. Serious Mo's in the chat calling for the, the chew clock. What's you up, proved Mo? your point, Mac. Mac, you got him. Mac, you got him. Get him out of there. Where's, where's, the, where's the trainer in the corner throwing in the towel? Somebody's got to throw in the towel. Throw in the damn towel. What's your favorite, Rocky? I'm a sucker for four. I think it is four. I'm a sucker. You know what the problem with four is, though? I'm going to be honest with you. The only real problem in four was there was no... Yeah. They didn't have that. But four, it's so good. I had come so accustomed to it, though. And I was you're sitting there, you're waiting for it, though. The whole movie, and then they give you like this Hearts on Fire song, which is yeah. cool, but it's not. I give a lot of credit, though. Creed's a good movie. Creed's I good. haven't seen Creed 2 yet, but Creed's I haven't a good seen Creed movie. Two. I haven't Creed seen Creed 2. Pretty good. But go. well, I Rocky 4, your favorite of the Rockies, and you haven't seen Creed 2 when Drago comes it's back. It's because. Is you that busy? Yeah. I got a lot going on. I got a lot. Oh, balls out. Hey, Cotastic forcing the turnover. Let's go, Cotastic. Let's go, Put some Cotastic. points on the board. Put some points on You got on, this. Man. Show him what's high. Oh, no, not I pro. Strong close. This could be the move. This could be the move. Let's just break a big run. Hand this ball off. My hope is, with all the Madden guys in the chat, that they've seen a lot of the good football movies out there. I, it could be a, a, a little gap, even though I can't understand how you haven't seen The Sandlot, but, like, football's got some good movies. Remember the Titans is my, it's my soccer favorite. Got some good. Uh, the program is underrated. The program. Have you ever seen the program? Yeah. Yep. It's a good one. <laughs> my, one of my guys in the chat after the fumble, he said, "We got Icon Six One Five says we got a game, boys." <laughs> Thirty-eight nothing. Beast Mode Mac on top, but Cotastic forces a turnover. It had to be. I, I gotta say, I listen. You never want to be down thirty-eight nothing. It's gotta be satisfying though to force a fumble with a hit stick, get out a little bit of that anger, force a big fumble in the middle. Heck yeah, especially when you're trying to run the score up on me. You got 38 points, you're swagging around. Let me punch you in the mouth, get some a little moral victory. We don't condone anyone actually punching anyone in the mouth. Just do it in the Madden game. You know what I mean. It's that easy. If you don't know what punch them in the mouth means in football terms, you just didn't play football. Hit him in the mouth, pry that ball free. That, that's all our coaches Cotastic tell us. Cotastic has chew clock on. Let's go, Cotastic. Let's go. Not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> <laughs> Not all heroes wear capes. Ooh. It's fine. Fours up in the it's chat. Fine. Cotastic's the reason why we're here in the fourth quarter because he's been nice enough to put on chew clock. He's looking to put some points on the board. 38 0. Beast mode Mac. Putting on a clinic. Come on, Cotastic. Fourth and two. I'm, I'm rooting for this guy. I want him to get something here. Fourth and two. Does he run the ball here out of the pistol? Three wide set. Nope. Air it out. When in doubt, air it out. All right, well. My guy, mine, my homeboy, is calling Wildcats out. It's a good movie. Isn't that the one with the chick where she becomes the coach? How about Angels in the End Zone? Come on, anybody? Angels anybody see that one? End? Never saw that one? Is that a ripoff of Angels in the End Zone? It's made by the same company. Oh, is, boy. Is Christopher Lloyd in it? In the End Zone? Yes, I believe he is. Gives you a little bit of credibility. It actually, it wasn't bad. It wasn't great. Some people are saying if Kotastic is able to put up a touchdown, we should award him the W. Give, give him the dub. Let's go. There we go. 20, 20. Yes, Christopher Lloyd is in Angels in the End Zone. Gives you a lot of credibility. 91% like this movie on Google. IMDb, 4.7 out of 10. About another touchdown for Beast Mode Mac. It's, it's, it's a clinic right now. Beast Mode, be careful. You might not have put up a, your point differential. Might be in danger here, bro. You got to get stingy. 45-0.
Is there, is there an angel out there for Cotastic? Can we call the angels in the Madden end zone? Christopher Lloyd wouldn't be able to save him. Rudy and We Are Marshall. It's another one being called out right there. Rudy's Rudy, pretty good. Rudy. Any given Sunday is obviously a classic. Waterboy, I mean, if you... Honestly, if you don't like the Waterboy, we have nothing to talk about. I like the Waterboy. I will say this for Adam Sandler movies. Waterboy is one of those that it doesn't hold up quite as well anymore. What are you talking about? Not quite as well. Stop. Oh, contestant! Go, 20, go. 10, go. he's in the end zone! The yeah. shutout is broken! Let's go! Fantastic by Cotastic! Let's go! I'm pumped. I needed that. One play, 75 yards. The Look shutout is broken. Look at him in the you little fist bump. Looks at Beast Heck yeah, mode. get pumped. Yeah, your, your shutout means nothing to me, Beast Mode, says Cotastic. Dotted them down the field. Yep, see, people say Cotastic. Give him the win. Well, hold that L, Beast Mode. Oh, no, <laughs> Beast Mode oh, like, spawns right back. I, I thought he was going to take back. it back. All right, we were just joking, Beast, Beast Mode. Beast Mode, Mercy. hey, man, calm down, man. Mercy. Turn on you clock. Look at it, you can see at the bottom, tempo normal. And again, I I, I don't want to harp on Cotastic because I don't want to discourage people from coming to these events. The, the, we've all been here. Like, legitimately, when you come to, you know, your first event and get matched up versus these pros, you're going to get humbled. I think that's the important thing, especially here at DreamHack. If, if, if you're going to come, come and participate, that's the great part about an open tournament. But make sure you got something else around here that you like, because if it doesn't go your way, there's so much to do here. It, the, the convention center is absolutely packed. You still have an absolutely great weekend, even if this doesn't go your way. Yep, I couldn't agree with you more, Nick. Yeah, Beast Mode is losing fans rapidly if he doesn't chew this clock. Well, I know what the fun fact is. Beast Mode doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't. He wants that dub. He wants Matt. that 12-5. I got Matt Clark's a savage. He's the ultimate troll, I told you. I told you about his troll ability. But we're having an absolute blast out here in Dallas. So so great to see so many people out here, not Why? here only. Sides packed off again! Cotastic! Why are we passing? Cotastic saying, you want to run it up on me, I'm going to make you pay. I'm going to make you pay. Kneel this ball, Cotastic. Show him what time it is. You can't stop me from ending this game. 2.40 to go, Cotastic. Just saying, fourth quarter, it's a 7-7 game. There's, there's your moral victory. It's 7-7 here in the fourth quarter. Play action pass. Looking downfield, there's nobody. Oh, he's got him over the middle. He playmaker oh, him across the middle. Aga. Sammy, sweet me, Watkins. Fight, Cotastic. Nine yards out. Got my boy, the legend, the mutt guru. What's up, Goo? What up, Goo? By the way, y'all want to watch something fun tonight? Go watch Friday Night Football. Twitch.tv slash Mudhead TV. They got squads tournament tonight. Yeah, shout out to Mudhead and, you know, the guys over there, Rockets and Zan, and they've had Goo and Bugs, and they've just been doing a great job just, you know, entertaining the people with competitive Madden and giving the players an outlet to profit off of their skills. Always a ton of respect for Mudhead and what they bring to the community. We have a lot of fun over there. Zan and Mutt Guru tonight on the call, but we got a full day of Madden here at DreamHack. This is only game number two. It's like two and a half. We showed the bonus game. But this game should have been over a long time ago. Cotastic. Come on, big dog. And that Mario shirt. Get the catch there. Didn't get in bounce. Wow. 45 to 7 beast mode, Mac. Here we go. Green 39. Green 39. Oh, boys. We... Ooh. Did we fall start? Did we fake snap yeah, finally? Got a little fake snap action. Did we finally fake snap the He just turned off rush. aggressive. 135 to go. Beast mode turned off aggressive pass rush. Let's go. Thank the gods. The old and the new. Let's go. Look at this little split, close shotgun. He's going to be looking for that post route to Watkins. Did you see the thrones from the alley? Yeah. They all caught up? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. What'd you yep. think? What'd you think? <laughs> Wasn't feeling it, huh? Yeah. What about episode three? <laughs> oh, get out of here. You're nuts. 
If you weren't watching episode three on the edge of your seat while it was happening live and you didn't know what was going to happen, you're lying. If you said you were just like casually like, oh, yeah. No, I, it, I, was it, was, it was intense. It was I thought the storyline was fine. I, I had no problem with the, the line. I had a problem with how it was shot. It was hey, tough to hey, see a whole hey, lot of that hey, episode. That was tough hey. for me. Episode three was banging. You can complain about other The stuff. rest of the season. When that was happening live, I was fully immersed. I think it's interesting. Game of Thrones, I think, will go down. You can't spoil it. Don't spoil it. I'm not anybody. spoiling anything. I'm going to say Game of Thrones goes down as the biggest cultural phenomenon on a TV show ever. For sure. On a, on a premium channel, nonetheless. Okay. I, that, it's nuts. My guy Goo in the chat. Arya is GOAT. Game of Thrones, best show of all time. From what about Joe Mork Rice? and Mindy? Anybody? Oh, gee. Guy Rice in the chat. What was it? The MASH finale had set, set a bunch of records. Seinfeld finale set a bunch of records. This game, well, it was it was a little rough for uh, for Cotastic. Beast Mode Mac runs away with it, 45 to 7. There were only like four channels back then. It's easier to set records. Rico, do you remember when there were four channels? Is that what you're trying to trying to tell us? Is that how old you are? Did you do you have the knob on the TV that changed the channel? Yeah, he knows. And got yelled at for that. Oh. Do you have a rotary phone? 